So this summer uh, I had the opportunity to participate in the Roots program and uh, I was able to visit the ancestral village of my maternal grandfather and that was um, sort of a big thing for me because I didn't know a lot about my grandfather. I didn't know that he was uh, an illegal alien and he came here as a paper son. As I was, you know, doing this rooting process, a lot of these pieces started to, you know, reveal themselves. His real name, where he was from, and uh, it made it really exciting for me to go to China because then this whole process was finding out about this person that I never really knew. When we went to China, uh, we went to his village, uh, which is in Fayun, and when we went there, we met uh, with the village officials, and uh, one of the ladies we met told me that she knew my uncle and that he had, you know, just been out to visit, and you know, she was glad that I was here too. So at first, Al and I were, you know, a little bit taken aback and worried that maybe we'd come to the wrong village. I think what made it really crazy was that that part of it was just the tip of the iceberg. great-grandfather uh, had lived in when they were in China and that was really nice to see it was uh, you know sort of older and whatnot but it was like a four-story house and interesting to see where they had grown up and there's a family living there now and afterwards we also visited the school that they had gone to. three wives and uh, I paid respects and they, they gave me like paper money to burn and incense and fire crackers. So that was uh, sort of a pretty significant moment on the trip too. And um, I was very happy to be able to uh, go to China. It really made an impact on me in terms of visiting the village and everything. Uh, Okay. 